to build a differential pivot. This is the fourth assembly of the JPL Open Source River Build. So far, I've completed the wheel assembly, which has the corner wheels and the base wheels. So, I also completed the rocker bogey assembly, which has a bogey pivot joint and a rocker attachment. And now I've completed the corner assembly, which has the planetary motor and the encoder mount. The differential pivot requires some fabrication. So I had to cut these two aluminum rods and this long aluminum rod to 15 inches. Let's get started on fabrication. Now it says, take a three foot piece of 0 0.5 inch aluminum rod, S16, and put it into one 15 inch piece and one 13.5 inch piece. These will now be referred as the parts S16A and S16B respectively. In addition, take these two four inch aluminum rods, S18, and cut them down into three inches in length as well. So, first I'm going to take a measuring tape and measure this side to 15 inches. And then I'm going to take a marker and mark the point where I'm going to cut the 15 inch mark. And then I'm going to take the other side and measure to 13.5 inch is. And then I'm going to take a marker and mark it there. Now I'm going to begin fabrication. I finished cutting all the aluminum rods. I cut the four inch rod rods down to three inches. Now, I cut the three foot rod into one 15 inch rod and one 13 and a half inch rod. Now, it says, the turnbuckles must be attached to the differential pivot and rocker bogey arm. You'll accomplish this by drilling holes in an aluminum beam S16 and then attaching two hole, five hole aluminum bars on each side. Using a vise or clamp, firmly grab onto the 0 0.5 times 13.5 inch rod S16B with the end extending out two inches from the edge of the vise slash clamp. Match the dimensions as shown in figure two. Carefully use the center drill to start at the center hole for these holes. It is important to the center, that the center hole is as center as possible to prevent the butt bit from walking slash dripping, slipping during drilling, which will result in the bit breaking. Then use a number 23 in drill bit and drill all the way through the both sides of the rod. This makes it an S16B part. So, let's wait to drill two holes on either side of this 13 and a half inch aluminum rod. Then, so I can put these two five hole aluminum beams on the side. Then I'm gonna take a measuring tape and measure the first hole to 0 0.15 inches. Then I'm gonna mark the second hole to 0 0.54 inches. I'm going to start by taking a 13 and a half inch rod and I'm place it here in the vice lamp. And then I'm going to take a drill and I'm going to take a one of a sixteenth 
of the drill bit and place it in here and lock it. I'm going to take some glasses and I'm going to wear it just to be safe and you should too. Now I'm going to begin drilling. I finished drilling the aluminum rod. Now, it says, test the holes by taking the five hole aluminum beams, S21, and screws, B7. Making sure that the screws go all the way through as shown in figure three. If they do not fit, you can file slash drill the hole out until they pass through all the way through. So, it wants us to take two of these five hole aluminum beams, and place one here, and place one here. Then, I want to take a screw, B7 screw, and place it in all the way through the hole and the two other five hole aluminum beams, and place another one through two. Now, it says, flip the, rod around and repeat to, flip the rod around and repeat the steps for the other side, making sure to align the hole's axis as much as possible, such that the holes are all parallel to the previous set. Next, take two of the 0 0.5 by 3 inch hollow rods, S18, and create the same set of holes as before. Show it again in figure 4. Test each of the sets of holes to make sure that the five hole aluminum beams will attach to each of the rods. This will now be the part S18B. So I'm going to repeat the steps I did for the first side of the aluminum rod for the other side of the aluminum rod. I finished testing the holes. All the screws go through the pipe evenly. Now everything lines up. I'm going to start assembly. So, it says, attach clamping hubs. Use screws B1 to attach the bottom tap clamping hub S20 and the single to the single pattern bracket S8. Then use screws B1 to attach the 0 0.5 inch clamping hub S13 to the bottom of the pattern bracket. So, I'm going to take two of these bottom tap clamping hubs. I'm going to put it on here. And then I'm going to put, take some screws and put it through here and screw it in. screwing all the screws in. Now it says differential pivot. Attach the turnbuckle S32 to the modified 13.5 inch aluminum rod S16B as shown as the five hole aluminum bars S21 washers FW2 screws B7 and B9 hex nuts B11 and B12. The outermost screw is the number four screw, and the others are number six. So, it says it wants me to take one of these um, B16 screw, I mean, 
rod, and then I'm going to take one of these turnbuckles, and I'm going to take three of these screws, actually just one of them, and I'm going to take it and place it through here, and then I'm going to take three of three of these washers and place it through here. Then I'm going to take one of these turnbuckles and place it right on here. And then I'm going to take three more of these washers. And place it on the screw after the trim buckle. Now I'm going to repeat these steps for the other side. I'm almost complete with my differential pivot. All I need to do is the vertical tubes, then I'll be completed. Now, it says, differential pivot vertical rods. Repeat step two on each of the three inch aluminum rods at 18B. Finally, attach all of the pieces of the turnbuckles together. Your differential pivot is now complete. So, they wanted to take two of these aluminum rods that I cut and drilled, and I'm going to take two of these five hole aluminum beams. I'm gonna place, and I'm gonna repeat the steps that I did for the sides of this long aluminum rod. It took a lot of work, but I finally got the two vertical rods firmly attached with the turnbuckles onto the differential pivot. My next video is going to be the body assembly. Thanks for watching. Bye!